Hello all, welcome to session 86 of Software Testing Made Easy course. In this session, I'm going to explain about client-side validation and server-side validation. So let's get started. Before I explain what is client-side validation and what is server-side validation, let me first explain why we get validations, okay? Why we get validations. Let me explain. Let's say there is an application, guys. Okay, let's say this is an application. So into this application, if the user is trying to enter some non-acceptable, non-acceptable data, okay? The user is trying to enter some non-acceptable data into this application. In that case, guys, the application will respond back, okay? This application will respond back with what, guys? With validations. Applications cannot accept this non-acceptable data, right? In that cases, the application will display the validation messages. The validations may happen either from the client side or server side, guys. Okay, there are two types of validations that may happen in the application. The application may display the validation from the client side or the application may display the validation message from the server side. Server side. So in most of the cases, guys, the validation will happen from the client side only, okay? Most of the cases, client side validation will happen. In few cases where the client is unable to validate, okay? So in few cases when the user is entering the non-acceptable data and the client is unable to validate this data, in that cases only the server will give this validation messages. Now let me practically show you the examples for this client side and server side validation on a real application. So let me open the application guys, some demo application, tutorialsninja.com slash demo. And let me take you to some page that is register account page. From this page guys, we can create a new account. So let me give all the details here. So I'll give all the proper details first. So first name, last name, everything is proper now. Telephone is also proper. Here password is also proper. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five is a password, okay? And uh, I'm selecting the privacy policy option. And the last one, I left it intentionally here, email address, okay? If I have to provide a valid or acceptable email address, I have to provide something like this, right? at the rate something at the rate something.com should be there. This is the proper format of the email address. But instead of providing this, intentionally, I'm trying to enter some invalid email address format. It's not a valid email address format, guys, okay? This kind of format cannot be acceptable by the application. So for this kind of validations, okay? In this case, application has to give some validation because application cannot accept the non-acceptable data, okay? Your format is wrong for email address. So in this kind of cases, client will validate the case, okay? We don't have to go to the server every time. For such kind of small kind of validations, you don't have to go to the server. So the moment you click on the continue button, guys, you will get this validation from the client side itself, which says, please include an at the rate in the email address, okay? So this is client side validation. Now, what if I provide some email address for which the account is already created? I already created an account with this email address case, okay? I already created an account with this provided email address. So in this case, client cannot help. Client side validations are not useful because client doesn't know what accounts are stored in the database, right? Whenever you create an account here, the account details will be stored in the database, but client doesn't know that, right? How can client validate? In such kind of cases, guys, the validation will happen at the server side. You will get the validation message displayed on this particular page after happening at the server side, yes, okay? The server from server will get the validation message now. Okay, if you're trying to create an account, duplicate account with the same email address, the validation will happen at the server side this time. Just click on the continue button. You see, this message validation message is coming from the server side. This is a server side validation. How this is happening, let me explain. Let's say there's a client, okay? Client is nothing but your laptop, guys. Let's say my laptop, whatever you are seeing on the screen, my laptop. In that laptop, what you are doing? you're opening the application like this, okay? This application you are opening here and you are providing the all the details and you are trying to create an account with the existing, okay, email address. You are trying to create a duplicate account with the same email address case. In this case, what happens is the moment you click on the continue button, a request with all the details, okay? The request with all the details will be sent to the server. Okay, the request with all the details will be sent to the server. Server will process this request, okay? Server will process this request and cross-check whether 
an account is already there or not with the given email address or not okay kind of thing okay how come the server will cross check server will check with the database guys okay server will find out uh, whether is there an existing account with a given email address if there is an existing account already created on this application with this particular email address then database will simply respond to the server saying that yes the email address is already there in the database you cannot create the new account with the same email address server will do the same thing guys after server will get some information from the db server will do the same thing it will display this validation okay message on to the client on the client you will get this server side validation message guys that's how this validation message is happening here okay in most of the cases client side validation will be done in few cases where client is unable to validate then server will validate by displaying this kind of server side validation messages so hope guys you understood uh, what is client side validation and server side validation but guys one more question here before i wind up this session one more thing that is if server is able to validate why should we have the client side validations right the thing here is for each and every small thing okay for such kind of things where you are providing some invalid email address formats right for each and every such small things if you read the server lot of requests will hit the server guys and because of that the server will get busy and performance of the server will degrade rather if you approach the server only when it is required then then what happens guys server will be free and the performance of the server will be improved that's why guys we have to implement both the developers will implement both client side and server side validation most of the cases it will be server client side validations and only when required server side validations will be done guys so that's it guys thank you bye